Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to take you through um, two design models that I use in my flows. Um, I'm going to illustrate this with um, temperature sensors and I'm going to simulate the temperature sensors uh, with these inject nodes. So we're just going to in inject a temperature value in here using this inject node and same here. Now the top group here is the standard um, design model. Now node red uh, works by passing messages so the idea is you pass a message from one node into the other node so this this node here receives a message in, in which, which case it would be the temperature for our living room or our kitchen and then it processes that message with some some logic and then we do something with it in this case we're going to display it in a on a gauge here uh, now you might want to have some logic in there that um, sets off alarms so we have alarm logic and we might have some for email and we might have a lot of other logic now we could include those in here or we could basically you could we could trigger the email logic from here I've used the junction node here so I just easy to wire it so I can just wire the uh, email logic into here so every time I receive a, a message then I would trigger the display logic and the email logic um, not really a very good solution there because you don't want to send emails every time you receive a message uh, you want to schedule the emails and maybe the same with the alarms but this kind of logic this kind of um, flow design is common um, I use it a lot and a lot of the examples you'll see uh, on the internet use this kind of kind of logic basically pass message from one node to the next node and process it along the way now I find that works very well with simple um, flows uh, in this case we just got two temperature sensors here and that works quite well let's just show you that there so there's a temperature sensor there's an example one example two and this one is set to 20 and so we just inject it there and that one set to 24 we just inject it there and we display them on our graph here okay now <clears throat> For more complex flows, uh, flows involving lots of um, devices, lots of sensors, I find it much better that we store the data and then we process the stored data. So we don't actually, th these are our sensor values coming in, we don't actually process the mes messages there, we just store the messages. So it comes in here and this function node here, all this function node is going to do is store the data. Now I'm storing it in, in a flow context, uh, but very often it's stored in a global context. And the reason it's, it's usually stored in a global context is because very often you'll have other flows that, that work with this data. So if I just go down here, uh, I've got the display logic just like I've got there. Um, I've got some email logic here. Now, um, I will make these available as a, as a download, but there's nothing in here. They're just placeholders, names only. Now, you could process the the data, and you could send emails using the function node within this within this flow. But generally speaking, you'd have to have a separate flow um, for the emails. You'd have a separate flow for the alarm which means that you'd have to store the data not in a flow variable but in a in a global variable let's say the example is using a flow but generally speaking it will be a global variable now you may notice I've linked the stored data to the display logic here and the reason I've done that is because this thing is set on a timeout now I set it for 10 seconds um, the, normally you'd set it for much quicker than that a second or half a second because um, you want to display the data as soon as you can um, but I've set it there for 10 seconds to illustrate something and to illustrate really this um, so 
every time we actually get a message or get a, a sensor value come in, we actually want to trigger the display logic. We don't want to wait a second or, in this case, 10 seconds for the display logic to get triggered. So we want to get it as soon as we can. So therefore, all I do is just return a message from this node. Any message makes no difference because I'm not going to process the message. Um, the display lo logic here processes the stored value. You can see here I'm picking up the the data from the the flow variable here and I'm looping through the the rooms and then I'm processing that data and uh, all I'm doing is going to display it in this in this node here but in these function nodes here I will be processing the data so let me just illustrate that um, and if I just let's see what we've got here we've got eight being displayed there and if I just set it there and I set it to 21 and inject, you should see straight away it goes to 21. Now if I didn't have this thing in here, I would have to wait 10 seconds for the dashboard to, to update. Okay, so, so that's it. Two design models that you um, might find useful. The one, you, the first one you should be familiar with, that's a standard model where we pass the messages from node to node and we process the message in each node. And the second one is where we actually store the data first and then we usually use a debug timer to trigger uh, events and to display the data to set to trigger alarms to email. Um, maybe to store data in, in a database. So we're not just passing the message from node to node. Um, this is more asynchronous. And I find that when, when you've got lots of sensor data coming in or lots of different uh, variables coming in, um, this results in simpler flows. And it allows you um, quite easily to separate the, the logic into into different flows. As I say, we'd have a we wouldn't usually have a an alarm function here and an email function here or a database function here. What we'd have generally do is have a email flow, an alarm flow, a database flow, and we pick up the data in the in the global variable. So we wouldn't just pass it from flow to flow to flow. We'd pick it up in the in the um, in the variable so that's it uh, I hope you found it useful if you did um, click on the like button if you've got any comments then please leave them below and if you'd like to get uh, notified of new videos on the channel then you can always subscribe and click on the notification bell until next time goodbye